So to date, cryptocurrencies have been primarily, the primary use case has been speculation and capital formation or raising money. Where do you see, where do you see us moving as we progress in the next five to 10 years? Yeah, I mean, I think crypto is going to start to, the, the first kind of applications we're going to see are what I'll call crypto native applications. So uh, Augur is a great example. Augur is a prediction market that really is uniquely enabled by blockchain. We look at Funfair. Funfair is a great example. Online gambling has really uh, always been a very challenging problem because you had to trust that the casino operator was actually not, not screwing the, the consumer. So there's a lot of opportunity there. There's a lot of interesting gray markets. So look at what Spank Chain is doing. Look at the marijuana industry. There's all these kind of like fringe use cases and then all these, I'll call them crypto native use cases. So crypto kitties and let's call it just digital collectibles. These are all pretty obvious crypto native types of things. I expect to see these kind of continue to trickle out over the remainder of 2018 and then probably get just a tidal wave of them in 2019. The other kind of major obvious area I see for crypto in the immediate future in terms of kind of end user app, in terms of call it new applications, um, is uh, call it cloud, cloud computing infrastructure. So this is kind of Filecoin is the uh, most famous example here. But there are a lot of others, people like Golem, Hypernet, uh, Core and I, a few others that are all pursuing this concept of uh, basically Airbnb for various resources on your computer. Uh, I think that's it's a pretty powerful concept. And we're going to start to see uh, various forms of that manifest in, in a major way uh, over the next year or two as well. Beyond that, it, it's harder to kind of forecast. But like there's some pretty obvious early bowling pins here of things that can happen. And we'll kind of see how these things aggregate and tumble and snowball over time into, into new things. In your opinion, how much of the action have we seen has been just fear of missing out or FOMO, both from a developer and investor side? And how much has been the actual potential? Yeah, I mean, I think most people, if they, they've drunk the Kool-Aid, you know, and I fully admit I, I drank the Kool-Aid a long time ago, they see the kind of massive potential of these things. But it's just very clear that like the demand, especially on the investor side, has kicked in far well before that the technologies were really ready. Um, and that kind of resulted in the Q4. I mean, they're really 2017 in general was crazy, but in particular, Q4 2017, when the markets were just kind of out of control. And, and so, you know, we're, we've been seeing a cooling off and we're letting these things kind of mature and bake. That, that's probably healthy overall for the ecosystem. You know, so demand from investors clearly is there. The thing with capital is capital moves very quickly. Getting people to build stuff just takes a while. You have to get teams together. You have to recruit people. You've got to build stuff. You've got to make mistakes and iterate. That, that just takes longer. And so, you know, developers, I, I think over the last six to nine months, a large percentage of the world's talent has looked at this crypto thing and they weren't really taking it seriously before. And they said, OK, maybe there's something here. And there's a lot of incredibly talented developers who are leaving Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, et cetera, and saying, OK, let's go build some crazy crypto stuff. And so that's just started to happen over the last few months. And I expect that to continue to accelerate for the foreseeable future. This has been another in our Fringe FM mini-series, where we take long-form interviews and condense them down to high-impact topics. If you'd like to get the full interview, check out the show notes, or subscribe. Go to fringe.fm, where you'll find tons of audio and video interviews with leaders in the fields of genetics, cryptocurrency, longevity, AI, space, VR, and much, much more. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a quick review in iTunes to help more people discover Fringe FM. 